we are here to have some chit chat about those things that we often try to avoid our hurts our hang-ups and our habits will you please share this venue with others will you please subscribe and will you please meet us here as we chit and chat about our hurt hang-ups habits and how to heal from them will you do that for me see you soon Hey y'all, good afternoon, good morning, good evening, good night. I don't know what time it is when you see this. Hopefully it's not raining like it is now, but whatever time it is when you see this segment, Miss Jewel Wilson Murphy here along with all photos considered, I hope you are doing well. I hope you're having a great, glamorous, glorious day. Again, I thank you so much for tuning in. I thank you so much for your comments. I thank you for your subscriptions. I thank you for liking and sharing this venue. So again, good afternoon, good morning, good evening, good night. It might be midnight. If you sleep like we do, then we know that it could be any time of day or night that you're watching us. And so again, I just want to say thank you. And so you all know that the last couple of weeks we've been talking about family. We talked about moms, encouraged moms to be the very best they could be, to get rest, to do self-care. We did the same thing last week with our dads. We want dads to be good. We want dads to get rest. We want dads to be involved. We just want the family to be a whole because a lot of times you hear that word called broken families or broken homes. I don't even get down like that. I don't even understand what that means. When my children and I were, were growing up, if you will, because I had to grow differently because I was a single mom for many, many years. And we, I didn't allow people to say that my children were from a broken home because their home wasn't broken. You can walk right through the middle and the house was whole. And I made sure that they were whole children because even if their dad wasn't present in the home, he was available that he could see them, talk with them, spend time with them. Everything we do in life, y'all know, is a choice. And so I gave their dad opportunity to choose to spend time with them. But I also allow other people to pour into my children. As I said before in some other segments, I allowed my children to be a part of Boy Scouts. They were football players. They did a lot of stuff academically. And they were whole people because I allowed men and women to pour into them holistically. And so I just believe y'all that we have a responsibility to our community to help our children go. So guess what? I know y'all already figured it out. Today I'm gonna just tap on the shoulders of our children just for a few minutes because I know that it may not be very many children watching, but I know my grand princess Imani, she always watches and you guys probably see her comments sometimes. And so I'm hoping like I do with her and the rest of my grandkids that you all will share this, this segment with your children as I just kind of delve into just a few things to encourage them to be the best children they can be along with you walking beside them. You walk beside them, mom. You walk beside them, dad, to be the very best that they can be. And how do you do that? I know oftentimes we've grown up and we've talked, we've heard and we've said to our children, and we might have even heard it said to us when we were growing up, what goes on in the home stays in the home. I know I talked about that before. And I said regarding that, a lot of the things that go in the home maybe should stay in the home, but some of the things that goes on the home needs to go into the community so that we can get help. We need to help our children know that it's okay to seek out help. We don't want everybody to be in our business to gossip, but it's really okay to get people in our business, in our family unit, to help us help our children to be the best parents, that the best children that they can be as we parent them the best way we know how. We've also said, sometimes we've heard people say that, um, that you're going to, you're not gonna be successful. Well, we need to speak life into our children. We need to speak life. We need to set it in the atmosphere that they can be whatever they wanna be, that they can do whatever they wanna do, and that they have to believe in themselves. And I know that people have said, I brought you in this world and I can take you out the world. Well, we don't wanna really speak death. We want the power, Life and death is in the power of the tongue and 
and the children today, I want our children to understand that they can speak life to themselves. They can encourage themselves. They can utilize the school system. They can utilize their friends, parents. They can utilize you, mom. They can utilize you, dad, because remember, mom and dad, you are going to be the best you can be because you have decided to take the challenge of self-care. You're gonna take care of you, and the better you take care of you, the better our children will be. Not just for your household, not just in your home, but in the community. We teach our children to be leaders. We want them to be leaders. We want them to be self-sufficient. We want them to be great communicators. We want them to be the very best they can be. Encourage them to read. Encourage them to tap into things that, that may be um, um, uncomfortable for them if you will for example if you know your children is not your child is not good at math it's okay to put them into a setting where math is exposed it's a lot of things that our children can tap into just by merely setting them in this in a seat of learning sometimes they don't want to read i tell you my grandkids do not want to read my children did not want to read but what i tell all of them that whole crew reading unlocks your doors if you want to work and be a sanitation worker, you still got to read. Reading unlocks the door to a sanitation worker. You want to be a doctor, reading unlocks all your doors. If you want to be a social worker like me, reading unlocks all your doors. And so that means that they have to set aside some time. Children, set aside some time to read. Set aside, set aside some time to arithmetic. Do your math, do it well, do everything you do a hundred percent if you don't understand children ask for help if you need help ask your parent if your parent doesn't know that's what we're here for you can comment below hey jewel i heard you talk about math i heard you talk about reading unlocks all your doors i heard you talking about different things for my sis my children to be assisted by i heard you say this i heard you say that but i didn't hear you say this jewel how can we tap into that it's so many things. If you all see the segments, most of the time, I'm going to link you with different situations where you can put yourselves in that seat to get the help you need. A lot of times we tell our children, do as I say, not what I do. Well, let's change that around. Let's have our children do what we do because we're going to take care of ourselves. Do what we do because we're going to read more. Do what we do because we're going to add, subtract, maybe do your budget in front of them so they can understand how important reading and math is. Also, I just want to remind us of the things that we celebrate this month. There's so many things, and not even maybe celebration, but we note this month. I want to keep before us national suicide prevention. A lot of things have been happening. I've seen a lot of news where folks are killing themselves and then um, harming their children. Remember, there's availability for suicide prevention help. Um, that we will put in the link below so that you will be able to access the help. I always want you all to be versed and knowledgeable on things that are in our community so that we can know that, as I said a few segments ago, maybe the third or fourth one, help is on the way. Help is always on the way. Help is always available to each and every one of us. And so what I want to leave us with today is a quote, a statement from Roy L. Pinkering Jr., Roy L. Pinkery Jr. said, he said, there were many tomorrows to be lived through his children. He could only hope that they would face them more courageously than he did. That his mistakes would serve as warning signs rather than crutches to live on. And so I want to leave that with you because there are many things that we as parents have experienced and we want them to be learning tools for our children. We want our mistakes to help our children to be better and not bitter. Again, I thank you so much for joining us on this segment. Y'all know I'm here with all photos considered. Remember, mention me, my name, Jewel Wilson Murphy, and you will get a discount of 10% off. We are glad that you stopped in. We want to know that you're here. And the only way we know that is if you comment below. Say something to a sister. Let me know that you are here, that you agree, or maybe you don't agree. But whatever you decide, just let me know that you're here. I am so grateful for you. I am so grateful for this segment. I am so grateful that you decided to stop in one more time. We, we are grateful. We are grateful. We are grateful. We'll see you next week.